Hi, today I want to talk about defibrillators and I want to talk about reflective practice, a process we can go through to improve performance. And I'll do this by relating a story that was told to me on a first aid training course a couple of years ago. This person worked for a company that had the foresight to buy a defibrillator and have it installed by reception. They'd also paid for the training so staff knew how to use it quickly, efficiently and safely. Now sure enough, several months later, a colleague collapsed at work and the staff there realised there was an issue, he wasn't breathing, so somebody called 999. Another person ran downstairs to get the defibrillator, while others started doing chest compressions and rescue breaths. Two minutes later the defibrillator arrived, they applied the pads as per training and delivered a shock and the heart restarted. The person got to go home and that is a fantastic outcome and so I applaud everybody involved that day. But the company weren't willing just to accept that. They reflected on what had happened that day and whether any lessons could be learned. Now I use reflective practice in my work as a paramedic and as a first aid trainer. I, I look at the challenges that I'm faced with, the medical challenges, the psychological challenges, the physical challenges, the technical and also the tactical decisions made. And the company did something similar and they realised that actually, tactically, they could improve. Because they only had one of these defibrillators at reception, it took a couple of minutes to go down and get the defibrillator. And two minutes is a long time. The British Heart Foundation reckoned that for, for every minute of delay in getting a shock delivered, the person's chances of survival diminished by 10%. So they realised that was an issue. And so they invested in more defibrillators. They had one put on every floor in their building and had people trained up on every floor and how to use them. So that's a tremendous investment by them in their staff and their staff's welfare. So I applaud that wholeheartedly. Um, but I also think it's a great story in, in how they'd had a great, great outcome and just weren't willing to accept that as being the best they could be. They used reflective practice and thought, you know what, we can do this better. And that's an inspiration to me. Hopefully it's also been an inspiration to you, and maybe if you work in a workplace, you might think about getting defibrillators. They do make a massive difference in, in outcome. So, all I wish you is uh, all the best, and um, keep safe.